We just got back from the blueberry farm with our big score and it's time to make something delicious with berries. We've been picking blackberries all month and uh, keeping them in the freezer. So what I have here is three cups of blueberries and three cups of blackberries. To which I'm going to add a half cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of flour, the zest and juice of a lemon, Squeeze that puppy in there, and then a little bit of cinnamon, maybe a teaspoon or so. Just kind of help bring out the berry flavor a little bit. We're going to mix all this together. And put it in an 8x8 eight eight baking dish, which I've already pre-greased, just so it's a little easier to clean up. So that this little bit of flour in here will help this uh, not be too runny when it gets done baking. This is such a simple and easy thing to do, and it's so good when you can do it with locally sourced fruit. You know where it came from, and even better if you picked it yourself. Yes, indeed. So now, as delicious as this is, it gets even better when we get a good topping on it. So we'll make that next. So now for the topping. I've got a cup of rolled oats. I've got a half a cup of flour. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. Brown sugar. Brown sugar, you could use white sugar, it really doesn't matter. And I'm gonna put in a little splash of nutmeg. And we're gonna mix this together. And then we will add butter. I think this should have a pinch of salt in it too, so I'm gonna do that. So this, yeah, this is a super easy recipe, and it makes something that everyone enjoys. And we're practically done already. So now, it's been a while since I've made one of these, and I always used to melt my butter and just pour it on here and mix it all together and put it in there. But uh, Looking around the uh, interwebs, I'm seeing that a lot of people recommend cutting your one cube of butter into small pieces and then working it in with the aid of a pastry blender. And so, let's see how that goes. We're, I'm just going to try it this time. This is a marvelous tool. If you've ever, ever used one of these to make a pie crust, you, you know how easy it is and it actually works. What's the, the other method? If you don't have one of these, use two forks or something. That seems yeah. a little difficult. <laughs> It's handy to have tools for everything. And some muscles. This is a, yeah, it's a little dry as one would expect. And lumpy with those oats. <clears throat> but 
but it does seem to be coming together nicely. And since this doesn't have to form a, an impermeable membrane like a crust, it can have some chunks of butter in it without bringing us any harm, I think. I definitely think it's a, it's a lot easier to just melt your butter and pour it on here. So unless this has some redeeming quality when it's all baked, I don't think I'll bother with this again. Okay. I think that's mixed enough. I'm gonna spread this on our fruit. Hmm. It's fairly full, isn't it? Yeah, we might have worked good in one of those little bit longer dishes, but mm -hmm. it's all going to fit. Okay. Actually, if we could have company and I was making this for more people, I would have used a little more fruit and made this in a 9 by 13 pan. Um, and you're going to want to probably bake on a cookie but, sheet. Oh, definitely. But since uh, Kelly and I have to eat all this, because so we can't have company, we better not make too much. Okay, so there you have it. Now this is gonna bake at 350 for, I'm guessing between 45 minutes and an hour somewhere. We'll just have to see if we want it to be all bubbly and we want the top to be a little brown. And uh, so we'll see when it's done and take a look at it. So it's been cooking for an hour. You can see it bubbling there around the edges. The top is browned. We'll see what it comes out like. Um, I don't know about that topping, but well, we'll just have to give it a try. All right, it's uh, time to serve up this black and blue crisp. Let's see what we have here. Oh. Topping feels really good and crunchy. I think we got a winner here, and we know that the uh, we know the fruit's going to be good. And we'll put a little bit of uh, ice cream next to that. Is that what you got, Cream? <laughs> I tried to help. There you go. Okay. Mm. Okay. So this is going to be like it's got to be the perfect bite. Oh yeah, that's really good. The crisp is crisp and uh, the fruit is fruity. What more can you ask for? And the ice cream is creamy, so. Um, thanks for watching Two Cooks in the Kitchen and we'll see you next time.